What is up YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, I want to do my quick review of the Jordan Westbrook Why Not 0.2 SE Red Orbit. That is such a long name. But anyway guys, let's do the on-feet review of this sick thing. Before we get started, let me just give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Carousel. Carousel is a marketplace app where you guys can actually sell whatever it is that you guys want to sell, including your sneakers. All you guys have to do, download the app, take a picture, put the details, and then upload. The app will do the rest for you. Millions of people can discover your items because they have a lot of users. In fact, they recently just merged with OLX, formerly Sulit. Now here's the great news. If you guys are thinking of selling your sneakers, we're actually having the second Carousel Sneaker Festival. All you have to do, upload your sneakers before July 20 and then with the hashtag, hashtag Carousel Sneaker Festival and then the app will push all of the sneakers uploaded there to their users. So it's a great time to be able to sell your unused or sleeping pairs. By the way guys, this is not a performance review. It's more of a lifestyle take on this new Russell Westbrook 0.2 SE Red Orbit sneaker. If you want a performance review, please do check out the channel of Mark Chess. He is like a Filipino sneaker YouTuber that specializes in performance reviews of basketball sneakers. He reminds me a lot of Nightwing. You can also check Nightwing's channel out. He has a review of the previous version of the Why Not 0.2. This sneaker gives you a glimpse of who Russell Westbrook is as an artist, as a designer, and as a basketball player. Those who don't know, Russell Westbrook is considered to be like the king of fashion when it comes to NBA, and he regularly attends Paris Fashion Weeks and is covered by a lot of fashion magazines and websites because of his daring, super daring fashion sense. And that's the reason why his life motto has been, why not? Maybe every time he thinks of something crazy to wear, that's what he thinks. Why not? <laughs> and that's what actually carried over with the sneakers. That's why all of his sneakers are called Why Not? Now, for this particular sneaker, according to Nike, Russell Westbrook actually picked all of the colors. He was very involved in the entire process. And he worked with the designers of the Nike team to deconstruct the sneaker, to peel away unnecessary layers, to peel away uh, maybe superficial layers, to give it not only just this look, this raw look, which is actually in style and in trend these days, but also to be able to make the shoe a little bit lighter for people who are playing on it in it on the court. So by peeling away the layers of the upper, you get exposed stitching here along the side, which is very reminiscent, of course, to off-white. You have exposed foam in different parts of the sneaker. You have this jagged thing here at the tongue tab, which just looks really nice, which is also carried over here at the back of the shoe. You have like translucent or semi-translucent windows here along the side, both on the lateral and the medial side of the shoe. It's labeled here 0.2 SE. There's kind of debate right now if SE stands for summer edition or special edition. I have no idea, so we'll just leave it at that. Just on top of it, you have the flywire technology of Nike, which helps with the foot containment and the overall structure of the shoe. And if you move down to the midsole in terms of cushioning, you have a full zoom air unit. You also have like a really funky outsole, which is built mostly for basketball, for traction and grip. And if you read and watch all of the videos that talk about the shoe, it actually helps a lot with traction on court. Now, in terms of colors, this is supposed to be inspired by Russell Westbrook's love for travel. Who doesn't love travel, right? But anyway, I don't understand the, what the colors mean in terms of his preference or his love for travel. It might represent different countries, might represent different things that he loves, the red or whatever. But, but I don't know if it's accidental, but it is. these are the colors of the Houston Rockets, which we all know where Westbrook is headed to after his stay with OKC. So you can actually say that this is the, well, informal, the first uh, Westbrook Houston Rocket sneaker. How is this sneaker on feet? Now, as a lifestyle sneaker, it actually works because despite it being a basketball shoe, not only does it give off a strong streetwear vibe, strong streetwear sense, you, the comfort is actually also there. The zoom technology for the midsole delivers exceptionally 
well. The grip is pretty good, especially now that it's the rainy season here in the Philippines. And speaking of rainy season, these windows over here are actually, what do they call this, water resistant. So in short, if you're looking for basketball sneakers that also work off court as good as they work on court, this is definitely one of the sneakers that you guys have to consider. The Russell Westbrook Why Not 0.2 SE Red Orbit now sells in various stores here in the Philippines including Titan. It sells for a little over 6,700 pesos making it quite affordable compared to a lot of the other basketball sneakers out there, especially the top tier ones. For a full performance review, like what I mentioned, please do check out the channel of Mark Chess. I will put the link down below, as well as the first review of Nightwing of the first iteration of the Why Not 0.2 sneaker. The links to both channels down below in the description box. By the way, we are about to draw the winners to our raffle, so make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. We're giving away a bunch of gadgets ranging from mini drones to spy glasses to spy watches. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, click the link down below for the rest of the mechanics. And to wrap everything up, I just hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I hope you had a good week. Good weekend. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.